volunteers would fold 2022 Cancer Freeze t-shirts, preparing for Saturday's 16th annual event. The motto is Freezing for a Reason. Several cancer patients will each receive nearly $10,000 to assist them with travel expenses to their treatment facilities. The recipients stretch from Dothan to South Walton County. They're within a 60-mile radius of Florala. Caleb and Jennifer Davidson began the unique fundraiser, and it's a life mission. You know, four or 5,000 people show up tomorrow to... That are our friends. Yeah, they're still our <laughs> friends. Yeah, But it's, um, it, it, it's just another testament to the area that we live in. It's the, the people, they, they want to be a part of something. They want to join in somebody's fight. And, and by donating to Cancer Freeze or playing a part tomorrow, that's exactly what they're doing. They're, they're playing an active part in somebody's battle. Besides a chilly kickoff, car show, and live musical entertainment, most of the events will be in the water, including Caleb on water skis without a wetsuit. Friday's water temperature was 44 degrees. So thanks to the rain last night yeah. and the couple of nights below freezing, probably be below 50, I'm saying 47, 48, so it's going to be cold. And Cancer Freeze is not just a one-day event. It goes 365 days, seven days a week, as far as fundraising for the families. That's what people don't realize, you know, a lot of these patients have to go every day for five, six weeks. Despite cold temperatures and COVID concerns, the Davidsons believe the 16th annual event will be the most successful fundraiser yet for local cancer patients. Reporting on Lake Jackson, Mike Rispan, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.